Good afternoon, welcome to the channel. We're gonna keep this one brief because, well, you can tell. It's Monday lunchtime, just got five miles in the bank. Very nearly binned it off today for obvious reasons. It's absolutely saturated. However, it stays like today where it really counts. Double points because my normal lunchtime run buddy has picked up a little knee niggle, so any training I do is worth double uh, throughout this time. Just had to get it out, get it done. And now I feel so much better because I've done it. So I hope this week continues the way it started. It wasn't an amazing session, just five mile run, but awesome. Thanks. Yo, yo, yo. Tuesday lunchtime, just done a steady 5K with some colleagues. Good to get out of the office, good just to get some blood flowing. So last night, Monday night, I didn't go on the bike. I should have, or I planned to, but I re-evaluated my training week. Taught me myself out of the uh, bike session I planned to do. I was supposed to do three times 12 minutes at Sweet Spot Big Gear. I was a bit tired from a long ride on Sunday. There's no way I was going to be able to get that done. So I did a core and strength workout, which I did a couple weeks ago. I didn't video it because I did do it in my pants. So sorry I missed that. If you do want to see that, let me know down below. Um, no, so I feel a bit achy from that today, but it's good. I need to do that sort of thing. I'm going to try and do it two or three times a week. It only took about 20 minutes in total, so I should definitely make more time to do it. I'll um, I might share the session with you later this week, but it's nothing special, don't worry. Anyway, right, that's it now. Time for lunch. Good evening, it's now Tuesday night. So Tuesday night is normally a uh, massive hard track session, but um, a lot of the lads have raced last weekend. So I took it easy, had a nice steady group run tonight. So I've done 8.69 miles in an hour and seven. So about 7.45 minute mile in. Felt good, good lot of route, good to have a run and a chat. It's not always all about absolutely emptying yourself, is it? So happy with that. Uh, takes me up to, what's that? 12 and a bit miles of the day. So uh, 11 and a bit miles of the day. Maths isn't great after I've been doing all this running but not a bad day. My first double run day in a long time. So happy to tick that off, still feeling healthy. So yeah. I've been trying to think of more interesting ways to say this, but Wednesday lunchtime, five miles, nice and steady. Just over eight minute mile in. A little bit tired from yesterday, but nothing, not too bad. Gonna try and get on the bike tonight. Feeling a bit more like a runner and I'll get some consistent runs in. Like this. Good evening, Wednesday evening. Back on the bike, two days off. I'm finding riding less is making me like more motivated to ride. I look forward to sessions more. When I get on the bike, I want to make the most of it because I'm hardly on it. So I think I might, you know, carry on this approach a bit longer. So tonight's session was, it's called Tempo Steps. So it was three blocks of 20 minutes. I made up of five minutes at 250, five minutes at 270, five minutes at 290, five minutes at 310, that's watts. And then straight into the next block. So no recovery, the sort of first five minutes of mid zone two power serves as recovery so it's quite a decent session just warming down now so that's 20, 46, 20, that's 60 minutes of effort in total so good workout i'm also trying to do as much work as i can in the aero position i've fitted around the watt bike i brought the pads in a bit i'm going to do a separate video on it based on how to make it narrow but i had to take it to bits and put it back together but now it's pretty much spot on what my tt position feels like so feeling good trying to train the body into getting that position more often if you're wondering why i'm looking really hench I've done two core workouts this week. Ooh, what? Nothing major, mainly body weight stuff, but just trying to get a bit fitter, especially whilst I'm not really swimming. Just trying to get them up a body a bit, a little bit stronger. So when I get back in the pool, they don't feel like a complete flake. So yeah, another three or four minutes wind down now, and then we go again. Good evening, Thursday evening. Just done three times 12 minutes. Sweet spot, big gear effort. It's about 60 RPM, so that was hard. You see I'm in the TT position now, I didn't do the efforts in TT position. When it's such low cadence, it's so hard to get the leverage in this position. So sitting up a bit more gives you a bit more leverage on the old quads. Oh God, <laughs> had to fall off an indoor bike by Daniel Ward. <clears throat> yeah, so did the efforts set up, but try and spend every other bit of time in the aero position. I'm finding this position a lot comfier. I need some longer poles, but other than that, I think I feel pretty well replicated to a TT bike. It feels all good, so see how we get on. Did a strength and conditioning workout this morning. I'll post that on screen now what it is because it's not actually very intensive or very long. But I'm just going for the little and often approach. Hopefully I'll improve. On the two times 30 second planks, on the second one, that's pretty much to failure. I couldn't really go any longer than that. So yeah. Anyway, it's freaking Friday tomorrow. Laters. Uh, triathlon Dan, why have you adopted some sort of weird straddle position? I'll show you why in a second. Now, I'm on a strict bike buying ban, that's a mouthful. So, not buying any bikes. However, I thought, you know, I need to feed that cycling ap appetite a little bit. So, I bought some cycling art. What do you reckon? Yeah? Nice bit of art, that isn't it, to go on the wall? Don't tell Liz. I'll go back in the box. Anyway, more on that later. I'm gonna do a separate video when I get around to building it up, but exciting times. It's always good to get a bit of art in the house. Sup, gangster alert. 
Friday night. Now I've got about half an hour, 40 minutes to kill. That's about it. I can have training tonight. Wild Friday ahead. So what do you do when you've got limited time? You get on a Zwift race. Right. I've not run today, so fresh legs. It's a pretty flat course. It's a 12 mile race. It's some sort of race league. I don't know what it is. But for once, I'm on the bike. I've got three and a half minutes left before the start. It's not like a last minute jump on the bike and the race has started. So I'm having a little warm up. I'm going to give it the beans. It's mostly flat. Up Box Hill. It's probably like a six minute effort ish i don't know uh, the rest of it's flat and i'll give it a good go on the sprint finish so i'm trying to capture some footage of this i'm going to give it a good bit of welly 15 minutes in it's mainly been flat so far there's one little rise i had a little dig up there just stretched it out a bit nothing too hard one guy's gone off the front but he's only got three or four seconds we'll reel him in before box hill and it's pretty much going to be probably a six or seven minute flat out of little box hill so give it a good bit of welly and see what happens there's only 16 people in the race so Top 16 would be great. Three and a half minutes into the climb. I'm just under 400 watts. Woo! Six thirty-two up Box Hill. Woo! I've no idea what that means, but oh man. So I'm in sixth place. One and a half k to the finish. It's flat all the way. The person in front of me is too far ahead. The person behind me is too far behind. I could just noodle it in, but it's going to be a sweet spot for a couple of minutes to the finish. Woo! Oh, that was good fun. It's good check I've still got it. So I matched my all time best five minute power PB, 405 watts, 10 minute power 387, 20 minute power 365. It was a total of half an hour. My normalized power for for nearly 31 minutes was 361 watts. So Still got a bit in the leg, still got a bit of gas. Woo, good workout, and really, it's not going to take on too much fatigue, that really. That was quite high intensity, but only half an hour in total, so that should be jolly good. I'll get showered, changed, and get on with the weekend. Catch you later. Good morning, and welcome to Saturday morning in the pain cave. So, I've done an hour and five minutes on the watt bike, normalized power of 235 watts, so pretty much sort of like mid zone two for me. Uh, an average heart rate of 120 beats a minute, so it's a fair, a fair swap, I'd say. It's pretty cold, so you find that, or well, I find that my heart rate stays a bit lower in the in the cold temperatures. It's a bit your body's working you know, less hard to sort of cool yourself down, so it feels a bit easier. I did probably 50% of it in TT position. I was trying to ease myself into getting into TT position. I'm now hopping off the bike onto the treadmill. I'm going to do I don't know half an hour, 40 minutes, just steady running. Not after a big training day today because I've got a cross country tomorrow, and I'm going to give it some wellies, five miles, and it's proper cross country. So. Gonna give it a good nudge, but um, yeah, on the on the treadmill now. Liz has gone out on the bike, which is an absolute nutcase, and she's solid. I didn't really want to get dressed up and with riding with Liz. I'm sure she won't mind me saying, you know, it's riding easier than I would do indoors, and I probably get very cold because it is about two degrees. So I've got the Wahoo live track up, so I can see where she is and how fast she's going and stuff, and I'm just cracking on my own training. So we'll see her in a bit. Hi everybody, quick takeover. I've just returned from my road ride because I'm the hardcore one that actually did adventure out this morning. Um, it's so cold out there, I've actually got ice on me uh, from how cold it is. I did cut my ride short so I actually did 23 miles because it was so foggy so for safety reasons I did come back. Um, now I'll take you back to Daniel. About half an hour in, probably half hour 40 minutes just steady. Oh, steady on. Yeah, How'd that look? Oh, all right, average. Look, I'm watching them. Think warm thoughts. Turn around, look. Yeah. Good morning, good morning from a muddy field in the middle of nowhere. You guessed it, it's cross country Sunday, so it's another round of the Boot Decorator League. So it's about five miles, it's probably about 150, 200 people in it. It's pretty muddy, it's absolutely freezing, it's proper cross country pretty boggy already so I imagine after a few people have run through this sort of stuff it'll be pretty pretty churned up so uh, yeah looking for a good hit out I've done about a mile warm up been and dealt with the toilet routine so I'm ready to go got about 10 minutes before the start I'm gonna swap my shoes get rid of some layers and give it a good hit out so uh, I'll see you on the other side Woo! so that was proper mmm <sighs> proper cross country so I was 33rd out of about 180 200 odd pretty happy with that uh, I'm not sure what pace it was to be honest, my watch is on my right wrist so if you want to check that out, it's on Strava, links down below. Good hard run, I didn't go off too hard, I managed to just beat a scalp, so Michelle, big fan of the channel, uh, she's often in the comments. <laughs> um, 
it was one all before today, so it's now two one to me in this series. But she was not far behind me at all, and I think if it was a bit longer, she might have had me. But um, yeah, happy to put a good run in. So I think that's about it for this week's training. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below. Uh, it's some vegan rocky road, which I think I've earned. I'll see you in the next one.